Hello, I'm Tian Wei, and welcome to World Inside. Today, we bring you up close with top Chinese science fiction writers born after the 1980s. First, meet Chen Qiufan, an award-winning sci-fi writer, translator, and columnist. His most recent book, AI 2041: Ten Visions for Our Future, is a collection of stories that explore how artificial intelligence could upend our everyday lives in 20 years. Science fiction has a unique universal appeal, quite literally and figuratively. And here are his views on the sci-fi world. You've been talking about science fiction should also provides opportunities for hope for people, which is in quite deficit, shall I say, in today's world. Tell me more about、right. your thoughts on the nature of science fiction. Yeah, I think、um, I think everyone now feeling quite strange about the world. I think science fiction is quite a genre, help us to cope with it. Um, also help us to、uh, step out of our、um, mindset, like our fixed perspective. Then we have this kind of、uh, flexible. So then we can try to figure out where、uh, was the real position we're really in,、mm -hmm. and how we gonna co living with other cultures and species. As well, so I think science fiction definitely will be a cure of all these problems we are confront nowadays.、Mm. But in the science fiction works、uh, we have seen over the years, we see a lot of、uh, existential threats,、uh, you know,、mm -hmm. within science fiction.、Uh, do you see they are helping us to deal with what we are having right now, or people are looking at science fiction totally different from their own world and limited the inspiration? Yeah, so、uh, let's look back to the history. Like when Mary Shelley wrote、uh, Frankenstein back in eighteen、uh, eighteen, so it's talking about how human beings create something、um, totally strange and different from ourselves. So I think that kind of otherness is always exists in science fiction and movies, or、uh, so many like. Uh, monsters, aliens, AI robots. We were creating. It's just like a mirror, like reflecting who we are, we,、uh, where we are from, and where we are going to.、Mm. So I think that is something. Yeah, we create so many bleak, hostile, competitive imageries of otherness, but. Also, that means we have to build up this kind of consensus and empathy towards each other. So I think that's totally something I've been thinking about a lot recently in my recent book AI Twenty Forty One. So, ten visions for our future. We try to create this kind of positive、um, and also、uh, constructive、uh, imagination about the future,、um, mm. like. Who exist and evolve with technologies together?、Mm. Tell me about these scenarios because、uh, there are increasing concerns about how we can coexist, or rather, we'll be conquered. You know, we'll be pushed aside by the new technologies. We always considering technology as something neutral, but actually, it's not true because all this kind of like interest party. Behind the scene, who create the technology?、Mm. Who like、um, uh, uh, evangeling the, the technology and who's using it is totally have different perspective. So I think the most important thing is to, is to help people understand what's the real relationship and what's the complexity between human and the technology, and what we can do is to bring more into、uh, into disciplinary perspective. Into the field and also help people to create this kind of com common sense about technology and how we can use our human agency to bring in more humanity、mm. and more、mm. nuance, more authentic interaction in the in the scenario. So、yeah. I think that's what science fiction definitely can do. But at the end of the day. Is it a problem between us and the new technologies, or is it a, a problem within us? Right, that's a very good、um, 
statement, I think, um, because everything we see nowadays is actually um, the fraudness within human nature, which got amplified and also be brought up by the technology as mm. uh, AI. So I think like fundamentally we have to change ourselves and we can evolve or transcend ourselves to to be a better species mm. so that means like we have to rethink about the whole system so i think yeah that's what we're talking about we have created so many different distinguished um world mm -hmm. in imaginations mm -hmm. and each one mm -hmm. is so unique so we can exam all these kind of different possibilities in different realities in different future and timelines. Mm. So I think that help people to understand what we're heading to. Through our science fiction history, it seems that Chou Fan, I know very little about that, but to the impression I have is science fiction writers, most of them are advocating some kinds of morality uh, that eventually will be able to fight over the evilness that we see in human nature or in the existential threat against the human beings. Uh, but um, yet, we have seen the increasing trend of uh, people these days to embrace the so-called the rules of the jungle. Uh, how, how is science fiction likely to create a Xanadu, in a, in a way, uh, away from reality? Right, so as you mentioned, um, we have all this fascinating imagination on technology, but we have very limited imagination on social structure and also on the culture and how the way we interact with each other. So I think that's totally reminds me that we are not bound enough in the genre so mm. because we are all so like stick to the old-fashioned capitalism belief system which m might be the poison might be totally something driving us towards the cliff so i think now is time we need to rethink about it for example ecological civilization so that's totally something we have back in the day but mm. now we we need to reinvent it then we need to make it re related to everyone's daily life with this kind of storytelling of science fiction so that's my uh first coming book is called net zero china mm -hmm. it's actually a book for kids on carbon neutrality mm -hmm. and talking about the relationship behind the scene what's the relationship about carbon neutrality to climate change and how each one, each individual can make some contribution to the grand mission. I'm not a pessimist, but I am trying to be a realist, uh, looking at the world that uh, shifting of priorities among economies are really changing right now. You see the war in uh, between Russia and Ukraine has led to uh, so-called uh, um, energy crisis and also food security crisis, and therefore c economies are taking back, you know, the coal power plants, and uh, also uh, they pushed uh, uh, further their uh, goals uh, to achieve uh, net zero uh, and also sustainable development. So, how do you see these realities? So, how do science fiction writers look at realities? Yeah, to 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 me, like there's so many different. Um, layer of realities. So the reality mm. is just one single perspective, but it's so clump, uh, complex. So I think to me it's more importantly to have um, to help the people to see from different angles, to uh, see from different perspectives. Then people try to understand uh, each other with this kind of empathy. Mm. So then they can think and act beyond all these kind of binaries and boundaries, then we can come together with some to, to create some consensus. Mm. So I think that's how human civilization 
work. Otherwise, there's no something like called common sense. There's、mm. no future. Yeah, common sense is really what we're lacking, as many say. You, you talk about beyond the binary. I'm very interested in that. How would, when the world is uh, uh, having the tendency to be divided into different camps, particularly two camps, and forcing individuals to choose、uh, whether you. Stand in one team or another. How is this apparent reality influencing and impacting the works and the mentalities of science fiction writers like you and others, your friends from different parts of the world? Yeah, because now the geopolitic、um, issues is everywhere. It also affecting the science fiction domain as well. That's why we need so urgently to. Think beyond the binaries because、mm. I think science fiction is about inclusive. It's about openness. It's about the the flexibility and mobility. So I think if we were forced to think in one single specific perspective, that means we are lacking of our agency to make the change.、Mm. So all this kind of imagination might. Become something ineffective for 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 like、uh, to 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 create this kind of、um, possibilities for、mm-hmm. the readers. So I think that's something definitely I don't want to see.、Mm-hmm. And there's something also I try to get away from it.、Mm-hmm. And all I can do and all I love to do is telling the story I believe in. Mm. And telling the stories, I believe, can share some common good. For example, in the book for the kids, I think we expand the perspective to a planetary intelligence, which means not only human beings are the the species with intelligence and consciousness, but we are just one of the many、uh, species coexist. On the planet,、mm. and that means we need to think about how to maintain this kind of sustainable and harmonious way of living. And I think that's totally the the starting point and the philosophy of like ecological civilization.、Mm. Many say, whether science fiction is really fiction. Sometimes it's the future of the reality,、uh, and sometimes it reflects the real human nature, and sometimes it shows both the the danger that we have and the hope we could have. Now,、uh, Chou Fan, your ta- your thoughts? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. So it's just like a mirror, but not a. Plan mirror, but、mm-hmm. it will have some distortion there. It have some twisted, and have some transformation there. So I think the most important thing is how we gonna recognize ourselves as a human being, as an intellectual species,、mm. and what's our value system gonna evolve, and what's our priorities,、mm. and how we gonna make some. Consensus on、uh, the civilization. Yeah. So I think that's something like I would love to cite one sentence in the new book.、Uh, it's called like "Create the future, starting from imagining a future."、Mm-hmm. So I think that's something we definitely would love to do because without imagination, there's no way we can get to that kind of specific future. Thank、you